Amazing Stealth Camper here. Uh, I am just here to do my June Stealth Camping Alliance Challenge as set by Lisa's Day Off. Thanks Lisa. To do cowboy camp, sleep out in the open. Okay. Just climbed up top here. Maybe back here. Yeah, without getting right into the bush. This might work. I don't think I'll be camping on the beach itself. We still doing shoes? Now, on a regular stealth camp, down here would be awesome. But when I'm supposed to be filming the stars and sleeping under the stars, not so much. Nah. Any other day, I'd be doing that. Honestly, somewhere like this. I could sleep head here, across that way. It's not ideal. Might work. Uh, still quite a few people out at the moment. Uh, won't be doing any setting up or bringing stuff out just yet. It's like a mum and daughter are just <coughs> walking back and forwards over there. It's just too close. Where I'm parked, there's a bunch of caravans, so people are going to be camping in that car park overnight by the look of it. Now, that does provide my car a little bit of safety, but it's going to make getting my stuff out a little bit trickier as well. I'm just going to have to grab it and go, I think, and not think too much about it. Anyway, if people are coming back, I'm going to turn the camera off and look like a tourist. I look like a tourist during this anyway, don't I? Okay, just a quick update. I ended up coming back to my car and moving it to the next car park down. The, the car park I'd stayed at, there's simply no way I could have got my stuff out of the car and got onto the beach without looking like I was camping on the beach. There were simply too many people there. Uh, caravans, six caravans, people just sitting out in front of their caravans, enjoying a long weekend, which is, uh, I'd, I'd love to do the same. I am doing the same in a different way. Um, but, you know, I've got a backpack and, and you know, another carry bag with my food and clothes and stuff. And I, I just look like I'm camping. There's no, no way around it. So the only way I can keep this one still is to not be seen getting onto the beach. And so I had to move down to the next car park. I'm a little bit more nervous about this camp than I thought I'd be. Um, it's a bit riskier than I thought it would be. And it's actually harder getting onto the beach than I thought it was going to be. And I'm probably going to head back to that place I found just in the dunes I don't really know where else to go it's still going to be fun though I'm still going to make it work yeah Stealth Camping Alliance as you can see I changed beaches this is so much better. Plenty of good spots up in these dunes. Not many people around. Just some fishermen down there. Once this family leaves over here, I'm gonna go get my stuff. While everyone else is preoccupied, I'm gonna come straight into dunes. There's a works depot down there. Golf course over there. Golf course. There's some houses about 300 meters that way. This is actually perfect. All right, camp set up. Cowboy camping. 
as requested. Just got a proper pillow today because I'm getting sick of having a sore neck. And I brought the air mattress for a bit of warmth and comfort. How's this for a spot though? Very well hidden from the beach. Not so much from the depot, but it looks closed. There's no lights on down there. And if anyone comes, I'll, I can get down low. That's easy enough. As long as people don't come up in these dunes, that should be fine. Anyway, I think it's time to crack a beer and get this camp started. Well, uh, I record. I'm recording. Alright, to kick off this, my first beach stealth camp. Um, I thought I have a beer which might be appropriate. Bondi Draft. Now, if anyone isn't from Australia, or is from Australia, I mean, it's probably a fair assumption to make that Bondi Beach is the most famous beach in Australia, or one of. There's even a show, Bondi Rescue. It's terrible. Um, anyway. Bondi Draft, made by the Bondi Brewing Company in Bondi. Don't go to Bondi Beach if you're a tourist. Take a picture, go somewhere else. Let's try to be here anyway. A bit foamy. Cheers. Oh, mate. After climbing around these dunes, it just hits the spot. I wish I brought more than two. I thought it's safer to stick it low on the beer today in case I get busted and have to leave. I don't think this is going to do anything. That's just too bad. Come to the fork. Awesome. So this comes with uh, actual chunks of meat, which is pretty cool. Bit of a mess there. Yeah, we've got some cisrine beef in there. Happy long weekend. Isn't that just spectacular? Those colours. I don't think it's coming through on the camera very well. It looks a little bit more purple on the camera, but it's a lot more orange from what I can see. I think this is a good spot to do my Stealth Camping Alliance shout outs this week. Firstly, I want to give a big shout out and great congratulations to Scott the Canadian Beaver. Congratulations mate on winning the May Stealth Camping Alliance Challenge. It was very well deserved. You put up a hell of a video. Uh, I was laughing all the way through. It was one of your best mate and it was just not only a good stealth camp but a funny video to watch as well. Top stuff. So, well done Scott, congratulations. Check out Scott the Canadian Beaver if you haven't already. Uh, next Stealth Camping Alliance shout out I want to give is to the, uh, the Backyard Hiker. He recently put up a video of one of the best busted Stealth Camp videos I think I've seen. It was fantastic, he handled it awesomely. Um, check out, out. Check, check his channel out, he's awesome, puts out some great videos, Backyard Hiker, check it out. And of course, last but not least, uh, Lisa's Day Off, putting up this awesome challenge for June. The June Stealth Camping Alliance Challenge to sleep under the stars, cowboy camp, uncovered, no tent, no tarp, no hammock, no bivvy. I did bring a bivvy as a backup Lisa, but I don't think I'm going to need it, which is fantastic. Yeah, no, good on you. Thank you, everyone. Stealth Camping Alliance. 
And you know, last but not least, this is, this is a thank you very much to every single person who watches this video and any other one of my videos. Um, I'm actually blown away by how many people are watching them. I was surprised when I crossed like 10 viewers, to be honest. So, big thank you to all of you. I, I appreciate it. And I'm going to keep making them if you keep liking them. Definitely no one at that depot. Lights are all off. There'd be no one in there. Probably closed for the night. May get some people in overnight, depending if they're doing night works on the road. I'm going to try to keep the volume a little bit low, like I'm kind of shouting because I want to make sure that my voice actually carries onto the camera. As you know, I've had issues with that, especially in loud air, in loud environments. You know, people are walking out here, and the wind is coming from that direction, so it's going to be taking my voice right down to the beach. Time to try this out. Just going to use the fork that it came with. I don't like my other fork anyway. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> the water wasn't boiled enough. <laughs> this is lukewarm. The weirdest thing about 10 minutes ago, a ute drove up the beach, came right up where I came in. Didn't expect to see that tonight. I don't know if it was like council patrol, lifeguard, just some guy driving his ute, who knows. Pretty sure you're not allowed to technically, so yeah, I don't know. As far as I can tell, this stretch of the beach is deserted. I can see, you probably won't make it out, but down that way, there is someone, I see a torch turn on every now and then as they walk around, probably a fisherman. You don't want to leave a torch on while you're fishing. Um, but other than that, it's pretty empty down here. That's the way I like it. Beautiful night. Just looking at the, the moonshine on the waves. God, it looks good. Okay. You can actually sort of get some of that. There's the two pointer stars down in the bottom. You can see the left two stars on the Southern Cross. You may be able to make out the other ones. I don't think you can there. Let's come back later when it's a little bit darker. I'll try that again. Yeah, this is such a good spot. Glad I came out. Glad I moved beaches. That last beach was just, it wouldn't have been that fun. This is good, this is really good. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my campsite. Get some. How the did I miss this guy?
down there, there's those people. An old mate down here. This is about again. Yeah. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna have to be quiet for a little bit, I think. Shout out to my local I'll show you the camera before. Didn't realise there was a guy right there. And he would have walked about 30 metres away, the entrance to the beach. Smoking, he's smoking, that's what he's doing. Okay. I can't see him fishing, but I'm not sure if he's fishing. He's like, oh, yeah, he's, like, he's fishing, he's fishing and smoking. Okay. update before I go, the guy's still down there fishing or smoking, doing whatever he's doing. This group over here, I think we're going to be in for a long haul tonight. It's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure that's a campfire they've got. So, I'm not the only one camping on this beach tonight. Okay, there we go, Lisa. You can kind of see the Southern Cross. You've got three of the stars on the Southern Cross now. The final two on the right and the bottom right aren't quite showing. But there's the Southern Cross and the two pointer stars. Looks like he's finished. There we go. When he came in, I was just up there. Just having a little lie down. Took the sleeping bag and the quilt away for now, just because it kept on blowing away. Man, this is comfortable. Heaps comfortable. Sleeping under the stars tonight. Looking forward to it. All right, I'm gonna try to set up a hyperlapse of the GoPro overnight. See if that records. I don't even know if the batteries are good in it, but we'll find that out, I guess. I've got constant problems with those GoPro batteries. They give me the absolute poo-poos. Okay. I'm going to go out of bed now, lie down, and get some rest. See you in the morning. It is about 5.20 a.m. right now. Still looks like night. The sun isn't peeking over the horizon yet. We get late sunrises these days. Early sunset, late sunrise. Uh, look, wasn't the best night's sleep. Quite windy. <laughs> it was very bloody windy. Had to end up moving my... Uh, stuff. So I was, I was camped over there but I had to move down here because there's a little bit more natural shelter here from the, the dune behind me in the bushes. It was just, it was just undoable at the other side. Like I could not uh, keep everything down. Like the quilt was just blowing all over the place. Even if I cinched it down, it wouldn't make a difference. I ended up having a big jacket, my heavy jacket, and shoved that over my head, and that kind of worked for a bit. It sort of kept the wind off and sort of kept the quilt down, but the wind was just going nuts. So yeah, I had to move. But after then, much better. I'm on a bit of a slope here, so that wasn't great, but it's okay. Got a few hours sleep at least. And honestly, I've just been sitting here watching the satellites pass. 
I've got this app on the phone that tells you what satellite it is and you can track satellites and stuff like that. Uh, lots of Starlink satellites apparently. I'll find over this morning. So, given it's 5.30, I'm just going to pack up now, get my stuff back to the car and come back to the beach and catch the sunrise. And this is probably the best way to get out of here without raising suspicions as well. Keeping stealthy. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But you got Venus over there, Mars and Jupiter. And Saturn should be somewhere up there. And actually, that little pale dot, I think that's Mercury right there. And we already have people down on the beach. All right, packed up and ready to go. That's the great thing about this uh, cowboy camping. It takes you like about two minutes to pack up if that. Okay, I'm going to get out of here now before more people come on the beach. I've already seen one person. So let's get out now uh, and get back to the beach for sunrise, which is approaching pretty fast. So that person I saw, right there. Looks like they're fishing. Of course they're right where I'm getting out as well. But I think I should be able to sneak out. If they're paying attention to the water, I'll just walk out in the dark. They'll never know. Alright everyone, that's it for me. I'm gonna head home. The sun's coming up now, but I'm killing for a coffee to be honest, so I'm gonna head off and go get a coffee. I'm not gonna bother making one. It's just a little bit too windy. I don't wanna spend half an hour boiling water again. Hope you enjoyed it. I had fun out here. I uh, always wanted to camp on the beach and finally got a chance to do that. So I'm, I've, this is a great challenge. Thank you very much, Lisa, for setting the challenge. Uh, Big thumbs up to the Stealth Camping Alliance. Check out all the members and all the videos if you get a chance. Uh, there's going to be some great camps this month. I'm, I've got a really good feeling about that. So yeah, check out all the channels and have a good one. Stealth Camping Alliance. Gotta call this the step three, huh? <laughs> Bloody need it this morning.